thanks so much for tuning in to My Savvy Agent. My name is Kara Baratich. I'm a realtor here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today I'm going to be discussing how Colorado's Choice Open Enrollment works. So if you have some questions, I have your answers. All right, here we go. Colorado is a choice open enrollment state. Now there's a lot of questions regarding this, so I am going to break it into three separate parts um, in this video to help you maybe understand the process a little bit better, and of course to determine if this is something you want to do for your child. So as I mentioned before, Colorado is a choice open enrollment state, which basically means that your child can go to their assigned school in your neighborhood, or they can choose a different school within that same district where your home school would be, or in Colorado, you can actually choice to a different district. So you have several options for your child's education and what their needs are. Now that you have a better idea of what choice open enrollment is, uh, there are three different steps that I'm going to go over. Uh, the first one is to make sure that you are I'm aware of what each district offers. Now, a great way to do this, um, a lot of districts, ugh, a lot of districts actually will offer um, a school information night. So if you know what district you want your child in, but aren't quite sure of which school you would like to go to, they will hold these uh, typically at the beginning of the year, kind of January timeframe. And it's just a night where you can go in, you can tour the school, of course, meet the principal, teachers will present and talk about, you know, certain curriculum, um, any focuses that that school has, and then of course, any of the before and after school programs that that school offers. Once you go to a few of those, that's going to make it a lot easier to kind of narrow in which school you think your child would do best at. Once you know what school or schools that you would like your child to go to, your next step is to go online and fill out the application to choice your child uh, to that school. Now this is a pretty quick uh, application and please keep in mind this is not actually the enrollment uh, application that you fill out to actually enroll your child in that school. This is simply just telling them, hey, I would really like my child to come to that school. Now be very careful, a lot of districts will have a certain timeline you can do this. I have seen uh, districts go as soon as November to start filling out the applications. However, most of the time I would say, you know, that January, February timeframe with usually a mid-February deadline in order to get your application in. Once you fill out that application, uh, you should actually have a few places on there to add uh, to up to three schools of your choice. Just because some schools fill up and they really just don't have the space to choice another student in. And so what they'll do is they will put you on a wait list. So if a family moves and they do have spots that open up, your child may be next in line, but if you aren't able to get into your number one school, then hopefully you can still get into your number two or even number three school. Most districts are pretty good about getting back to families, kind of that spring break, kind of March, April timeframe. Uh, you should know by the end of the school year, just for planning purposes, then that is the time you will move forward with the actual enrollment of your student. This requires a little bit more paperwork. You will have to probably go into the office and bring you know your students information their birth certificate um, they always have those things online with the list of things that you need to bring in in order to enroll once you go through that enrollment process your student is now enrolled in that school and they can attend there now in Colorado another wonderful thing is you don't have to do this every single year so let's say you choice your child in kindergarten into the school of your choice you don't have to do that with every year once they're in they are good to go unless you decide to pull them out and then put them back in that district then you would have to apply again well that is it i hope i was able to answer some of your questions on uh, colorado's choice open enrollment and of course if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when i post a new video every week and until next time stay savvy